Four bar connection. It's quite new for me on World of War. Don't see that too often. But uh, the Germans beat the Russians once again. Well, I say once again. I mean, in this game. Airfield is a very nice map indeed. Second, third favourite? I can't really decide. I can't actually remember all the World of War maps. If you ask me to name all the maps, I probably couldn't. Let's keep this middle bit in anyway. I'll only cut off bits while I'm searching for games. Ah, I really want to mute you. Can, can I mute him within- No, I just skipped airfield accidentally. Castle- Oh, castle. Even better. My favourite map of the game. Definitely was worth it. Okay, we're going to use the double barrel of this game. I have a four-bar connection. I'm feeling confident, so it's the double barreled shotgun time. What I have on this? Grip, sleight of hand, and toss back, I think. Toss back is the pro effect you get from Flat Jacket Pro and Black Ops. It allows you to throw back frag grenades and reset the timer as you throw it. Sleight of hand pro, same in every game, you know what that is. I'm only explaining this for the people who have never played World of War before. I know most of you guys probably know what I'm talking about anyway. But hey! Let's bring out the the old double barrel. The old, uh... I don't know, I was going to call it a nickname then, but I don't have a nickname for it. Hit that guy directly with a the grenade, then blew it up. Uh, let's be a bit careful here. I see you there. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, that guy's good. He's trying to no-scope me, look. Damn it. That'll make a nice montage clip, I'm sure. Why he didn't aim, I'm not really sure, but... Who am I to judge? Uh, let's rush up and get these guys. I feel guilty ruining their montage, but then again, I, I don't really care, so... Okay, let's get this guy as he comes through. No? Oh, he's going around the other way. Never mind. It's quite a tricky situation for a shotgunner. Shotguns were definitely underpowered in this game. Uh, I can categorically say that. Is that the no-scoper again? Look at that. Shotgun beats MP40. Incredible. Amazing. What's this guy doing? Whoa, I can't get him. He's got a bayonet. He means business. Oh, he got me. He actually got me. Yeah, Type 99 is the only LMG that can get the bayonet on. It's the attachment I normally go for it. I know you're there. I, I still can't get him. I still can't get him. I think I'm overestimating the range of this shotgun. When compared to like the Modern Warfare 2 shotguns, which have amazing range despite being secondaries. Is this guy still going to be here? What do you reckon? I can hear a guy to my right. Yeah, he's there. No, it's a different guy, never mind. Bit of a lag spike there. Alright, let's go find this guy with the Type 99. Do I have to give him some praise for using that gun? Very, very nice gun to use indeed. But I do not like beaten in Knife Wars. Being beaten, sorry. Ha! <laughs> this gun's great fun to use. Pick up the MP40 secondary. Always nice to have. Ah, oh, and I should and I could have thrown it back if I was a bit closer. Oh well. Whoa, sniper! I thought he actually no scoped me then. That would have been pretty impressive to no scope me from across the map. That type 99 has one bullet left. Definitely will not be picking that up. This guy's gonna snipe me again. Whoa! What are you doing there? Let's get this guy. Yep. Grenade normally does the job. Ah, oh, typical. Get rid of Betty, get rid of one guy. I don't know how that grenade didn't kill him as well. Should have been a double grenade, really. You live, you learn. Here it comes. Here's the grenade of justice. Oh, we're gonna get slaughtered by the artillery. 
Whoa! I have a better idea. Let's switch to a sniper. Actually, let's not. I'll probably do even worse with that. Well, I'll give it a go. Why not? Show some variety. I got you. Definitely got him that time. That was a lag. Bit of a lag spike. Try the Thompson. I don't really know. I'm just trying out different stuff. Oh, well, he ended it anyway. That was a little bit laggy, despite having a four-bar connection. Yeah, it's kind of funny. In the older games, they could the host could basically choose what level they play just by ending the game every time. It does migrate the host between games, but not during games, which is... I guess it's a step forward from COD 4, but still not up to the same host migratory migration, sorry, standards of Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, which is a great thing they added to Modern Warfare 2. You know, you can argue all you want, all the stuff they added to Modern Warfare 2, which you may not like, the one-man army noob tubes, the shotgun secondaries, whatever. Host migration is something that everyone should be happy with, really. Let's go for the dinner plate. Dinner plate 28. Satchel's flat jack extreme conditioning. Look at this thing. It's like the Starship Enterprise. Flat jacket saved me. What? Please tell me that wasn't my teammate. I can't see what I'm doing. Taboon gas. Hmm. I really want that Type 99 now. Nah, that guy's easy. Got a better position on us there. Let's move spots. Round to the side. Where is he? Was a guy underneath? <laughs> Thought that was another guy then just spawning onto me. Luckily it was a teammate. I managed to get that guy. This guy comes out of nowhere. Luckily I heard him just at the last second there. Gotta love the headset. He's underneath us. And he's behind us as well. Okay. If only someone were to get a UAV so I'd know where they are. Hmm. That guy's good. The guy with the Type 99. Come on, I hear you. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. That's the one I was looking for. Guy with the Mose and the gun. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not, because the guy didn't see me. These are- they are quick! They are quick with those sniper rifles. I'm gonna switch to an unscoped bolt action soon. See if I can counteract it. At the moment, all I've got is this scoped Mose and the gun. And I'm not a big fan of the scopes. That was one thing I definitely missed from World of War, the unscoped bolt actions. I mean, they have less power, but it's good that they give you the choice. There we go. Didn't get me that time. I hear you. That's right. Oh shit, he's at the end there. I saw him as well, I saw him, I just didn't react in time. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Just uh, burst firing a bit here. Doing single shots. Lucky I saw that guy. It's quite a dark map. Well, I guess not as dark as the night version, but... Still reasonably dark. Oh, that was stupid. Why did I pick that up? I have flak check it. I would have survived that. Hmm. Moving up. Should probably take a different approach, because that way is obviously not working. Go, sniper! 
Sorry, machine gun. This guy's got an SMG. You can easily tell by the sprites what what weapons people have in this game. Yeah, there was a guy there. I wasn't just imagining it. Enemy artillery! And they're behind us. Ooh. What do I do? What do I do? Now I run. Hide behind some barrels. One of my dogs. I don't want to screw up now. Please don't kill me. Please, sir. Please don't kill me. We have the puppies! And the Nambu. Can't forget the Nambu. Does the double tap thing work in this game? Where you double tap square and it sets off the explosives? I can't actually remember. No, I don't think it does. Oh well. Let's go for the dogs. This guy with his satchels. Sneaky devil. Satchels definitely aren't very uh, aggressive weapons to use. Mainly useful for tanks. Put them underneath a tank, blow them up. Tank's gone. Now, where are these guys spawning? I'm just trying to listen out at the moment, but try not to stand still because I know they could be anywhere. And they have snipers, and snipers are very dangerous. Come on, doggies. Oh, Type 99, yes please. You definitely don't want to leave a Type 99 lying on the ground for me. I love this gun. Send dogs to do their work! Oh, really? He must have just got lucky there. Could have sworn I killed him. Here come the dogs. What you can do to protect against the dogs is just to hide in the water. They can't get in there. Oh, sniper as well. Okay. I'll probably just hide in this building to wait for the dogs to go. Guy with Thompson, I think. And don't forget in this game, dogs take two hits to kill, as opposed to the one in Black Ops. It would have been really overpowered if it was one hit kill in this, given that they are just a seven kill streak. Oh, I can mount my weapon. Never really understood the point of the bipod. I've, I found very few situations where it's actually useful. It's amazing for- oh god, I have a two-bar connection. Why is- do I- do I have two-bar connection? I'll look for a new host after this, because, uh, not really too happy with a two-bar connection. I know I bitch about my connection a lot, but... Really, it's such a big factor in Call of Duty that... I can't help bitching about it sometimes. Very connection-based game. Grrr. I see you! Pick up the PPSH. Oh, satchels. No, don't bring out the map. Why did I put the map up? That's retarded. Yeah, I meant to press left there instead of up. Is that an enemy artillery? Yeah, it must be. No, not quick enough. Should have quick me, bro. That's what Grizz would have done. Here he comes. Footsteps are very distinctive in this game. No, not up! I didn't press up!
Could have been a triple spray. This is war! Dogs acquired! World at War, no matter how old it gets, still gives you that amazing sense of feeling that you're actually in a war. And I did bring Emperor... I, ah, I just messed up that. I did bring honour to the Emperor and all of Japan, as the guy said. But I'm going to find a new host. Not too happy with that one.